What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today guys I bring you this guide on how you can get fast Imperials. Well the fastest way possible in the game as of current. But before we go any further people, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this short but sweet guide will allow you to basically get as many Imperials a week as of possible for that Chalice of Opulence. Now we know the Chalice of Opulence requires Imperials to unlock each node and they are not cheap and there are limited ways also you can get these Imperials each week like Werner's Weekly Bounties, the Ship Chests, Triumphs and a few other things. Now me being an idiot, I already spent my Imperials elsewhere so I can't do this until next week and I'm guessing many of you guys probably have done the same. But if I give you this info now, you can take advantage of it next week and ultimately get them Imperials and get as many as you're willing to farm for. Okay, so this starts with the Chalice. The chalice you can see on the screen now consists entirely of 12 nodes. 3 main nodes for runes and 9 across the bottom. Rune compatibility, rune bonus and power rune efficiency. Now I know many people watching this week 1 of opulence will have already unlocked the second rune node and probably unlocked rune compatibility 1 because this allows you to obtain even more nodes, red nodes. So you'd be left with me with a lack of ways of obtaining more Imperials because you spent the ones you already have. Now if you have a 6 man team for sure, some of the Triumphs you can complete within the Menage Array, which you can see on screen now, you can see them within the Triumphs menu. But if you don't have a team, many of these are way too complicated to manage without communication. So what can you do starting next week if you don't already have 5,500 Imperials or at least 3,000 Imperials? Well. When you next get Imperials, what you want to do is spend them on power and efficiency nodes within the Chalice. Node 1 costs 2,500 and node 2 costs 3,000, so in total 5,500, unless you already have node 1 unlocked, like me. So node 2 states grants an additional weekly powerful reward from the final chest within the Menage Array. Playlist activities may now rarely reward Imperials. So with this node unlocked, you have a chance of getting Imperials from playing Strikes, PvP matches and Gambit. So also what comes with unlocking this node, Power and Efficiency 2, it also allows you to buy a buff from Werner9940 called Wealth of the Emperor. As you can see, this requires that node guys. This buff significantly increases the chance of earning Imperials from Strikes, Gambit and the Crucible. Greatly increases the chance of earning Imperials in the Menagerie. And its effects last until Imperials are earned. It costs 1500 Glimmer and 10 Legendary Shards. Now once this buff is active people, you have a significant chance of earning 500 within a PvP match, 500 within a Strike or 500 within a Gambit match. Or even guys, when you open that Menagerie chest. Now I say it every time but it's still not guaranteed every time but it does significantly increase their chances. Problem is you can only grab 3 of these buffs per week I believe. So 1500 Imperials from these buffs and also rare chances of getting Imperials from playing PvP game strikes and Gambit definitely in my opinion make the fact in unlocking the power and efficiency to node a must going forward if you want to get more Imperials. And I do make it by far the easiest way of getting them because many of you guys like me now probably ain't got much left to do this week. Playing PvP or doing strikes or gambit for those pinnacle weapons may be all you will have left. So having this power and efficiency to node unlocked also allows you to get a rare drop of Imperials while farming PvP, strikes and gambit so it is the best of both worlds. So unlocking this node is a must for earning Imperials. Like I said, you'll get a standard rare chance of getting 500 Imperials from a Gambit game, a PvP game or a Strike. But with this buff from Werner, that rare chance changes into a significant chance. So next week, people, I know for sure what I'm going to be spending my first initial batch of Imperials on. 
And on that note, we have come to the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.